Hey everyone, this is Johnny. Say hi, Johnny. He's going to teach you about things you probably don't care about. Okay, let's get started. Today we'll be learning about ad hominems. What is an ad hominem? It's against the man. Yes, that's right. It usually consists of insults against the person. Johnny will give you some examples. Yeah, that's one. Good, good. Isn't that a bit mature for you, Johnny? Oh, mm. okay, let's move on. An ad hominem fallacy occurs when one makes an issue of the arguer himself rather than his argument. Simply being insulted by your opponent is not an ad hominem fallacy. It's an insult. For example, if Johnny tells Todd 1 plus 1 equals 2, and then adds an insult afterwards, the insult doesn't make the argument fallacious. The fallacy occurs when the other person is attacked instead of the argument the person is putting forward. In a sense, the person is not meeting the challenge of the argument. Ad hominem fallacies are usually done with the intent of undermining the credibility or competence of the arguer, so one simply ignores the argument altogether. Ad hominem circumstantial or an appeal of motive happens when some irrelevant personal circumstance surrounding the opponent is offered as evidence against the opponent's position. This fallacy is often introduced by phrases such as, of course that's what you expect him to say. Um, let's see some ad hominems that are thrown towards Johnny um, right after he just made an argument. Well, of course you would believe abortion isn't wrong. Of course you would want to teach evolution in school. What a surprise. A man wants prostitution to be legalized. He just wants to legalize pot so that he can smoke it. You're arguing that more money should go to churches? Yeah. Big surprise. Ignore him. He only wants to fill his pockets. Many times the motive of a person is questioned instead of the argument itself. Once again, you are not meeting the challenge of the argument, but instead attacking the arguer. And ad hominem to coque is when a person criticizes the action of the arguer, where the arguer has acted in the same way. Here are some examples. Based on your medical history, you should lose some weight. How can you argue about me working harder when you're too lazy to even get up? You can't tell me about how it's wrong to smoke, Dad. You do it all the time. Regardless of whether the person in question is following their own advice, the premise of the argument still stands. The premises need to be addressed, not the arguer. An abuse of that hominem occurs when an attack on a character or other irrelevant personal qualities of the position, such as appearance, is is offered as evidence against her position. Such attacks are often effective distractions or red herrings because the opponent feels it necessary to defend himself, thus being distracted from the topic of the debate. Here are some examples. You're a blonde, so your opinion doesn't count. You accept evolution, so you believe you came from a monkey? I'm not going to waste my time arguing with a monkey. Is this kid trying to debate me? Why don't you go home to your mama and let the grown men talk? Valid ad hominems. Well, there are some valid ad homs. And here is a quick example. Johnny has been proven a liar numerous times. Therefore, you should reject his testimony and acquit my client. Because it is not an attempt to get you to reject Johnny's argument, but instead reject his testimony, it is not an ad hom fallacy. A testimony is not an argument. It's a report of events. The fact that a person is a known liar has no bearing on whether or not they present a conclusion supported by premises, but it does affect how we evaluate the reporting of alleged facts. Okay, remember, um, it's easy to point out the fallacies in other people's arguments, but it's much harder to look at the fallacies we make ourselves. So if we want to become better critical thinkers, let's recognize when we make fallacies ourselves and Try not to focus too much on the fallacies others make. Okay, well, until next time, keep living and keep learning. Oh, if you think there's uh, an error in one of my examples or in my reasoning, please go ahead and comment below. All right, thanks. Bye.